Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video, I'll be painting a unit of Catafron Breachers. This is my second AdMech video, and here I will show you how I will paint my vehicles and servitors. These models are really cool. What do you do with a brain dead cyborg servant? Well, just put him on some tracks, slap a big old gun on his arm, and off he goes. Anyways, let's begin, shall we? I first prime the model black using black primer from Vallejo. Then I spray the model with Usapti Bone. You can either use a rattle can or a brush, whatever is convenient. I then Zenithal Wraith Bone over the model. This will make sure the upper parts will be lighter and this will create a very subtle gradient. I spray the entire model with aluminum metal color from Vallejo. Because of the undercoat, this will become a very light metal color. It also works amazingly out of the airbrush, so I can definitely recommend this paint. Luckily, most of the model will be metal, so this is going to be a big step. I first shade the entire model with gnome oil. The tracks get shaded with Agrax Earth Shade to bring some variety to the model because the tracks will be more dirty and worn anyway. I pick out all the parts I want bronze with Screaming Bell. Either use the official GW model as a guide or make it up as you go. I mostly did the latter. Making sure there's a good variety in metal and bronze. Next, I'm highlighting all the bronze with Psychorex Bronze. Lovely color, looks great, but awful application. I've been told to thin coats top brass is a better version, but I have yet to try it out. I shade the entire model again with Targor Ray Shade. This shades the bronze and gives the metal a grimy and oily look. I end with a dry brush of Rune Fang Steel over the entire model. I also use this paint to fix any mistakes I might have made. In just a few steps you already have a model pretty much ready to go. It's a bit boring though, so let's work on some details next. I'm giving my servitors black bodysuits. I base coat these with ashen grey. Now the paint doesn't cover that well on the smooth metal coat, so you'll need two or three coats for a good coverage. I shade with known oil. Layer with Mechanica Standard Grey. And highlight with Dawnstone. Although most vehicles will be a dark red, I do want some bone colored armor showing as well. I base coat this with Xandri Dust. I layer with Usapti Bone. I cover most of the armor, but I leave the previous coat in the recesses or shadows. And I highlight with Screaming Skull. Now this looks very identical to the inner lining of my Skatari robes, but I will add some weathering later to differentiate. Red armor will be base coated with corn red. And shaded with Karoburk Crimson. I'm going to stipple on Sanguine Scarlet to highlight the armor. There are different techniques here. You can just layer it on or glaze it on, but I personally like the stippling slash feathering motion to bring some texture into the armor. I repeat the process with Evil Sun Scarlet. I keep this layer a little bit smaller so the highlights will be more concentrated. I end with a highlight of Wild Rider Red. 
Again, I'm stippling and feathering, but I keep it to the uppermost edges. I did paint the robes of the Skatari red as well, but this is a much darker red. This will make sure your army won't be a wash of red on the battlefield. Now I will be adding some weathering later on, but let's finish some small details next. Most of the tubes I paint with Black Legion. Some tubes I want a fluorescent color and I will paint that after the weathering phase. I highlight the black tubes with Dawnstone. For warning stripes I paint those white stripes with Vallejo White. I then paint the stripes with Yenden Yellow. This creates easy warning stripes with some shading. With Vallejo White that I used on the warning stripes I also paint the Mechanicus Sigil. I shade the sigil heavily with Soul Blight Grey. It's a great subtle wash for white, but you have to apply it heavily in order to see the effect. Half of the skull and the other half of the cock I paint with Corvus Black. And shade with Black Templar. And I use some white to fix any mistakes. Now for weathering. I stipple on lead belcher on all the armor where damage could have been made. No need to overdo it, just add some scratches. I added some decals to the model and with Evil Sun Scarlet I damaged these as well so they will be more integrated into the model. I then cover the entire model with Streaking Grime. And remove most of the grime with White Spirit. And this leaves us with a dirty grimy vehicle. Now this step is of course not necessary if you're going for squeaky clean models, but I think it really adds a lot to the model. Also a tip, while removing the grime, use your wet sponge or brush to add some streaks or splotches on areas where the grime is removed. This makes for some fun random elements on the model. The brain dead servitor needs a sickly looking skin, but I don't want to go the Nurgle route. Hence, I base coat the skin with Iron Rach skin. I shade the skin with a mix of Drakenhof Nightshade and Lamium Medium. I layer back Iron Rach skin on the raised areas, leaving the shade in the recesses. And I highlight the skin with a deepkin flesh, creating a pale looking skin which is reminiscent of the Borg of Star Trek. And here we have a trio of breachers. Now I did skip some stuff in this video like the plasma guns and the base, but you can watch how I painted that in the Skatari video I made. Check the link in the corner. I will be painting the rest of my Admac army, but it's probably going to be pretty much in the same vein as these two videos I've already made. So I'm not sure if it warrants another video, but I'll see. In my next video, I'm going to paint a unit I sometimes add to my World Eaters army if I have some points left. The Flesh Hounds of Corn. In the meantime, be sure to check out my Instagram where I post pictures of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, thanks for watching.